Welcome to module 9. In module 9, we're going to learn how to use the brush tool. So we want to move over here to where all of the hot air balloons are. Have your rectangle marquee selected. Let's go ahead and select these hot air balloons. Make sure your background layer is selected. Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Select your move tool and move it over here. Command T to transform and let's scale it so it fits inside of the black border. So I need to scale it up a little bit. There we go, hit return when you're done and let's zoom in. So with our brush tool, what we're going to do is paint in the rest of the sky. So what I want to do is sample colors from the actual image. So I'm gonna select my eyedropper tool, keyboard shortcut is I, and then come in here and select part of the sky. Notice the sky has different colors. It isn't one solid color all around. This area here is a brighter, more saturated yellow, and there's some lines here as well. So let's call this hot air balloons. I'm going to hit the plus near the trash can to create a new layer. Select my brush tool. Keyboard shortcut is B, it's the top option. My hardness should be 0%. Let's make it a little bit larger. And then I'm just going to come in here and then just paint. Notice if I just brush it, I mean, it looks fine, but it looks a little bit fake. Like this area looks a little bit slightly a different color. I'm going to take the eyedropper tool, I, and just click this area and then come in here and brush it a little bit more just to adjust the colors a little bit because the sky is not one solid color, it changes. And notice I brushed over my hot air balloon a little bit here. That's the reason I created a new layer. That way if I accidentally brush over it, I can just erase that part. I'm going to just take my eraser tool that we just learned, keyboard shortcut E and brush away. Okay, that looks great. All right, so we have our sky brushed in. Let's go ahead and take our rectangle marquee tool. Select the area we want to keep. Have them both in a group. Hold shift to click the next one, drag them in, hot air balloon, and then layer mask. There we go. And if you select your move tool, command T, you can move the whole entire group together. I'm just clicking the arrows on my keyboard to shift it over. Okay, shift command four, take a screenshot to upload to eCadence.